Well, J. Rue Campbell, a former football standout, appeared in an Oakland County courtroom today where he pleaded not guilty to three counts of assault, fourth degree child abuse, disturbing the peace and trespassing. It comes after he live streamed part of a one hour standoff with Auburn Hills police on Christmas Day. And tonight we're hearing the 911 call made by Campbell himself. Seven Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has that call and the father of a former teammate who came to support Campbell. If family and friends are able to bond him out, J. Ru Campbell will be walking out of the Oakland County Jail here, but his troubles will still be far from over. Calling docket number 22007465, People versus J. Ru Campbell. 26 year old J. Ru Campbell arraigned on multiple charges stemming from his encounter with Auburn Hills Police on Christmas Day. Count two, assault with a dangerous weapon. Campbell himself capturing some of the incident live on Facebook. It happened in the lobby of a psychiatric hospital. Police say Campbell was demanding the hospital release a woman who was there under court order. He brought his daughter to see her mother on Christmas Day. You think any of those gentlemen? We're in fear of a battery from J. Rue Campbell sitting on the floor with a pair of kid scissors. You're going to die after two. I'm not playing with y'all. Auburn Hills police say they were responding to Havenwick Hospital staff's call to 911, saying there was a man there who was causing a disturbance, refusing to leave. At first, we're told they thought he may have been armed with a gun. Police say J. Rue Campbell did call 911. That call went to Bloomfield Township, and he said he was on his way to the hospital to get his child's mother out after he'd been told to stay away. Like, I don't care, so y'all need to get the out of the way, or I'm, I'm hitting everybody with the car. So open the door, let my mother tell your mama out, bro. I'm about to hit everybody with the car as soon as I pull up. At Campbell's arraignment today, the father of a former high school teammate came to vouch for him, saying he'll support him if he's released from jail pending the outcome of the case. J. Rue needs services. He needs to reach out to individuals that are going to support him. Let's face it, J. Rue is probably one of the, arguably one of the most recognized athletes in Detroit history. That young man has had carrying this beast of burden around his neck like an albatross for years. Let's do it, my boy. Self-defense. Come on. Police say Campbell took his shirt off during his hour-long standoff. Auburn Hills Police Chief says his officers maintained their composure and used time and space to de-escalate the situation. What this officer is holding is a beanbag shotgun. Campbell did eventually drop the scissors he armed himself with and let his daughter go. She's now with relatives. You're going to have no contact with any of the alleged victims, including your two-year-old daughter. Campbell appearing upset by that condition of any release on bond, which has been set at $30,000. Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.